I think for everybody, humans and animals, I think life is, is a struggle. Nothing is, is rosy all the time, but everybody hangs on to life and, and wants to live. And I think that's the same with animals. You know, I don't think they want to die. And to take an animal's life when it's in its prime just seems so wrong. I've always had a great love for animals and I just cannot bear to see them distressed or suffering. And as I sort of grew on in life, I, I just sort of made the effort, you know, to do what I could, you know, to help them. When I first started Hillside, I intended to, to be mainly a campaigning sanctuary um, with just a handful of animals. But as animals came along needing help, it was very hard to refuse them and I, and I just made every effort to get people to get interested in them and to, and to help fund them as well because you, you, can't, um, you can't keep animals unless you've got the funding to actually feed and care for them. We've now got 2,600 horses, ponies and donkeys and mules and um, 600 cows as well as the, the um, five and 600 sheep and goats, 300 piggies. We don't discriminate. They don't have to be any sort of certain um, size, colour, type or breed, you know. If they're alive and they, and they want looking after, we'll take them on. We've got so many animals, it's just such hard work because they all have to be fed and they all have to be cleaned up afterwards. It's a job for the tough, you know. We've got lots and lots of animals which, which came in a really poor condition. To take in animals which uh, are, are perhaps emaciated or had a very bad life, um, it is, it's just lovely to see them you know, regaining health and getting the care and treatment they need and they, they just blossom into an animal how they should be and it's just nice to give them a life. It's an extremely stressful job. I mean, personally, I'm at every living... Um, Every eleven moment is is thinking about um, about caring for the animals and, and raising the funds to to keep them. Working at hillside um, for the animals is extremely emotionally draining, um, and and some days you just think you know I just can't do this anymore emotionally. But you know you go to bed and you wake up and it's another day and you carry on and then um, some days are better than others. But you know it is it is. Um, it is, it is extremely hard. It would be nice to retire and just pack it in, to be quite honest, but you can't. I mean, you know, there's animals out there that need your help, um, and also the animals we've got in the sanctuary, you know, I feel responsible for, I just can't walk away and leave them. So, um... At Hillside, we've probably got more animals than most other sanctuaries, and we manage on the amount of funds that we raise. Probably, we probably have more animals um, per pound than any other sanctuary. Without the supporters, we wouldn't be able to carry on with the vision, you know, of saving so many animals, making people aware of just what goes on in the factory farming industry, which in the end would save a lot more animal suffering if people just change, if everyone just changed a little bit of what they did um, and thought about it, you know, it would make a difference overall.